right, so good night's sleep. Looks like there's no wind. First day in a long time where we're gonna have some nice conditions. We're gonna go check some new stuff. We we're looking on Google Earth. That's been the name of the game, right? We don't wanna keep hitting the same stuff over and over again. I'd rather save those for times when we can't find anything and we need a surefire go to right so we found some new spot on google earth we're gonna go ahead and check out if they're any good we'll let you know kirkman just went down yeah first mutton on the pole spear 70 foot, minute 20. 70 foot minute 20. dude let's go <laughs> what After you shoot them, you just want to engage the slip tip by pulling the ejector rod out a little bit and then let them, let them, let them die. Nice shot. Nice fish. I should have killed him when I had a chance. I should have killed him when I had a chance. You saw how I was able to undo it yeah. on the pigtail? Yep. That's why so it's the best design. Do, For, forget everybody else's design. No one else would have been able to get that pulse out. Yeah. All right, so Mr. Kirkman jumps in the water and less than three minutes in, not even 30 seconds, he goes, I got a big mutton. Circle around him once. I want to see this thing. Kirkman's really showing up. He already has a mutton at 70 foot yesterday. Earlier today when we were scouting, he grabbed a little black grouper. Now he's got another mutton. The guy started taking free dive courses with me like six months ago. Stroking it, he's awesome now. Let me see it, let me see it. Okay, that'll do, donkey. He tore up his side, but we got him. Yeah, look at that. That's a good one, dude. Yeah, he's a nice one. Heck yeah. All right, let's see what else we can find. That was cool. Not label use. No. Oh. We went to a new place and only were able to get one AP. It was a nice sized one though. AP, we got a little mutton right there. I don't know if you can see it. That's about it for the day. We have a long run to get home. I think we might uh, try one spot. I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. My guess is the sun's gonna be pretty low and everyone's gonna be over it. It's a bit much when we got room to improve in, yeah. Okay, good morning. We made it out to the corner for the first time with this group. Pretty excited. Last time we were out here, Willem got a nice 40 pound black in like 15 foot of water. Uh, we're starting at 28 foot, but um, we're, gonna, we're gonna check a couple areas that I haven't checked uh, last week. Uh, again, the big theme is not to hit the same stuff over and over again. Check new stuff, find new stuff. That's the name of the game, right? So stand by, let's see how we do.
Oh my god, get here now! Get here now, Willem! Yo, monster black. Really, really big black. Get a really good breath. If, if you're trying to pull and it's not coming, then don't pull. Um, but if you feel his body moving a lot, then pull. Man. Oh, yeah. Nope. You're gonna want to face this way. Then you're gonna come over here where I am. Right. Julia landed a big old 40 pound black. We just chased her out another 40 pound black. For the record, for everybody who thinks we have to dive super deep. 30 feet and we're chasing her out monsters. So we're gonna hopefully find this one. He we chase him for a quarter mile. Well, we're going back to the original ledge. Maybe he went back there. Maybe not. After this, we're gonna start diving a little bit deeper and see what kind of bigger grouper are out there. So after getting our butt kicked by that grouper for about a quarter mile, we decided to slow mosey to a spot that's one of my favorite spots. It's pretty deep, it's our go-to. We're looking at how nice these conditions are. This is way better than it was a few days ago, that's for sure. by a 40 pounder he was just sitting out in the open he wouldn't rock up at all so those open open water shots are much more difficult in this case the group was just out sitting there fanning looking up at us we got we got a good look at it we got a good opportunity we just couldn't convert but what we did do is we did get a yellow fin first yellow fin for the kirkmeister Ah, 
That'll do, Peg. So we are at a blue hole. It is a natural spring. It's one that I found a little while ago. One of the cool things about this spot is the different types of fish you might see. You might see African pompano, you might see kingfish, you might see muttons, hogs, groupers, you name it. Um, it's all swimming through here. Uh, some people call them hospital holes. Some people will actually talk about how fish come here to uh, get healed or uh, to die. That's a like a Bahamian legend. I think they're really cool. Last time I was here, we got a couple nice yellow jacks and um, I'm gonna take a video because the water is so clean right now so you can see exactly what it looks like. So right there, that's the line. There it's like 20 foot. Here it's like 100. So check this out, we're just running and Dylan goes, yo, look at this ledge. The most perfect little circle ledge like that, dude. In the middle of the bank. Awesome. We're, we're gonna have to dive and check this, for sure. Dude, yeah, dude, go whenever. Like, that's nuts. Look at that ledge right there. What the heck? That's epic. We just found a brand new spot. Sick. This seems like a possible hogfish spot at times of the year, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, they should look <laughs> it does, like, this shit looks sweet. This stuff looks sweet. What a sweet, sick My little God, spot. Right? Way to get the monkey off the back, Willow. <laughs> for real. <laughs> Let's see it. Everything fell on point, man. I was relaxed. Here, right. Here hold on to the spear. I'm going to let it go. Oh man, Kirkman's loaded up again. Dylan <laughs> just says, yo, do you want to bring me a pole spear? Hey, dude, what a sick ledge to find. Watch your head, watch your head. We are currently just drifting. We're not even under power and we're just constantly, you know what I mean? Like, what? We just keep finding more and more spots. What did you just see? Oh, Kirkman with the dog snapper. Yep, they're all up under that ledge. Really? A bunch of them that side. That's great. F yeah. Is that your first one? First one. Pretty cool, guys. Hold on, let me see. This is one of my favorite things to do. Oh, he's not doing it. So whenever I come here, oh, there he is. Oh, Hi, nice. buddy. Thanks for posing. That's not it. This is good. Bottom is good. These are all areas I've been before. Shot lots of fish. And we can't buy a fish. Um, I don't know what's going on. It's been incoming tide all morning too, which is usually pretty good. We're gonna have to pull pull out some stunts because at this point it's not looking good and we'll do anything for a fish right now. So we have to switch it up. What we're doing is not working. And just like that, our prayers were answered. The boys are on a yellow fin. They're, kick, they're kicking after it right now. We desperately need a nice yellow fin. Dylan said it was pretty healthy, so I have no idea how big it is. It went from no fish at all to, oh look, there's an asshole over here. Oh look, there's a yellow fin over here. Oh look. And now they've been chasing stuff for the last five minutes. Kirkman's loaded, he's gone. We were just about to call it and uh, give up on the day, but uh, Kirkman just shot a little Nassau. And the boys are seeing muttons and things like that. So persistence is key. Um, we don't always find the fish, but uh, just gotta keep trying. It's still better than sitting at an office, that's for sure. Update, we have found the hogfish. <laughs> Update, we found the fish, they still 
don't know how to shoot. I want you to say it on video. No. Willem's on. Willem got a hog. All right. Willem was like, hey, should I jump in? You think it'll be worth it? I was like, I don't know. Jump in. See. Yeah, oh yeah, it's a nice one, dude. Let me see that thing. Hold him up, Willem. Yeah, there you go. Everyone else's slip tips are working, Julian. My boy, Julian, after struggling all day, after struggling all day. Hold him up, hold him up, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Okay, ha <laughs> ha AP on the pole spear. The good juju. Ready? And I gave you the good juju spear. Hold on. What'd you shoot that on? The juju Julian spear. The juju Julian spear. Show me. Ah, uh, Julian. My boy. Nice job, dude. Yeah, Julian. <laughs> so we just left the Abacos. We are heading south. We just got to West End. We're going to pick up our good friend Mitch and we're going to start the next round of this same trip. So a little different fish species that we're going to be targeting over the next day or two. Uh, kind of excited, so let's see if we can get